am very excited about this video as it is the beginning of science experiment series. I would be making several videos to understand interesting science facts through simple experiments. Science is one of the most fascinating fields of study which gives us knowledge about physical and natural world. The idea of science experiments is to satisfy our hunger to know why and how certain things happen around us. Today, I am going to talk about one of the most important elements, that is air. It is an example of matter which is composed of gases. 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen with traces of water vapor, carbon dioxide, argon and various other components. Air is colorless, odorless and tasteless. Air is everywhere. It is Earth's main source. In this video, you will be learning about some amazing properties of air through experiments. So do watch this video till the end. Things required An apple, a lemon cut into half, water, three bowls and a knife. Cut the apple and put it into three bowls. Place two slices into each bowl. Pour water into the first bowl. Squeeze the juice of half a lemon in the second bowl. Leave the third bowl as it is. Observe the apple slices after 4 to 5 hours. You will notice that the apple slices in the first bowl stays white for long. In the second bowl it stays white the longest and in the third bowl it turns brown in color. You will notice that the apple slices in the third bowl turns brown in color because apple contains an enzyme and a compound known as phenol. When the apple slices is exposed to air, the enzyme and phenol react with oxygen present in the air to produce a brownish pigment that covers the slice of the apple. This is known as oxidation. The apple slice in the first bowl stays white for long. This happens because the water reduces the amount of oxygen available to the slice. The apple slices in the second bowl stays white the longest. This is because lemon juice contains antioxidants that prevent oxygen from reacting with the enzyme and phenols. Things required One small bottle and one big bottle Two balloons and one pitcher of water Let's explore something very interesting by putting a water balloon inside a bottle. You must be thinking that it is very easy. So I have a water balloon here. Let's try putting it in our bottle. Oh, it is really not possible. If I squeeze it more, then all the water will splash out and just come all over me. So let's now try doing that. It's not the right thing to do. So let's see how did I put this water balloon inside the bottle. Take two plastic bottles, one small bottle and one big bottle. Now stretch the balloon on the mouth of the bottle. Now I've stretched the balloons on both the bottles. Now I'll try blowing it first from this bottle. You see that I cannot blow this balloon. Why is this happening? You all know that we can blow a balloon very simply and everyone can do that. Now let's try doing it from this bottle. I can blow this balloon very easily from this bottle. You must be thinking that how is it possible? It is not because of the size of the bottle. It is because the hole I made in this bottle. It allows the air to escape out from this hole and it creates space for the balloon. In this bottle there is no hole so there is no space for the balloon to blow up. Let's put the water balloon inside the bottle. We made a hole in this bottle. The hole will allow to th uh, the balloon to blow up. Now I have closed the hole using my finger. Then I will put water in the balloon. After filling the balloon with water, I have tied the knot. Now I will put the water balloon inside the bottle. See, it has easily got inside. So guys, it is not magic at all. It is science and air doing all the work. I am 
sure that you all must have observed by seeing this experiment that air occupies space. Things required a white mounted jar, a saucer, a candle, matchbox and colored water. Place a candle at the center of the saucer. Fill the saucer with colored water. Carefully put the jar upside down over the lighted candle. After some time you will notice that the candle gets extinguished and the water level rises in the jar. It happens because the air inside the jar is used up in burning. Thus the experiment proves that air is needed for burning. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned numerous things about properties of air by watching these experiments. I will soon be uploading the second part of this video showing some more important properties of air. So don't forget to check it out. If you like this video then please press the like button. I request you all to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.